Hello and welcome to my channel. It's story time and yes today's story is about Ronald. It's always a story about Ronald about and I'm going to be reading from the book today so that I can show you the pictures as we go along. I do hope you enjoy this story. Let's see what Ronald's up to today. It's Ronald and the Church Paintings. Okay. Quite a lot of Ronald's ideas came to him whilst in prayer. Like the time he had a vision of two big paintings hanging on the walls of the church. Whoosh! Up comes the idea and Ronald has to put it in his notebook. Ronald's notebook. I bet if you have ideas you could put them in a notebook. It's the best thing to do then you don't forget them. Soon after church off he trotted to the craft shop to buy the biggest canvases he could carry. A canvas is a big sheet that you put paintings on. They were nearly as big as Ronald, but that didn't put him off from painting on them. Ronald liked to challenge. And doing not one, but two big paintings was certainly a challenge. He had some paints at home, and as soon as he had returned, there he set to work with the designing of them. He had to balance them on top of his sideboard as they were too big to put on his painting easel. There's the two canvases on top of the sideboard. Big job for Ronald, definitely. As was most things, Ronald wanted to do them both at the same time. His enthusiasm always runs away with itself, in a good way. He set to and drew what he thought he would like on the canvases. One was a mixture of crosses and one was the front of the church painted out like a jigsaw puzzle. It took him a couple of goes to get the scale of the church right before he was completely happy with it. And he liked doing the cross one as it was to have lots of different crosses on it. So there's his two ideas. He's going to do one with a church and one with some crosses on it. He could do whatever he wanted, which was good. Once the drawing stage was complete, it was time to add paint. This was the fun part, to see the picture come to life with all its bright colours. Ronald put a cloth on the sideboard and arranged his paints, his water and his paintbrushes ready to get going. He had to put the cloth down so he wouldn't make a mess everywhere. It's best to put a cloth down if you're painting, isn't it? He also made a cup of tea because he knew once he started, he would forget to stop for a break. Every now and again, Mrs. Ronald would bring him a fresh drink to keep him going. I'm sure we got Mrs. Ronald about. There she is. She's never far from Ronald. She would bring him some tea. When the paintings were completed and dry, Ronald was ready to take them to the church. He placed them both carefully in the back of his van, with plenty of covers to keep them from getting damaged. He shut the back of the van doors and off he set. While he was driving along, he thought, where would they go in the church? Ronald needn't have worried. The church committee had already found a place for each of them. They were going to put them one up at the front of the church and one up on the sideboard. There's Ronald's van that he took the paintings in. He always takes things out in his van. It's very handy. Everyone that came into the church said how bright and colourful they were. Mr Dimple the vicar was very pleased with Ronald's efforts and thanked him on behalf of the whole congregation. Now everyone was left to wonder what would be Ronald's next challenge. What do you think it would be? Ronald's always getting up to things, isn't he? I wonder what the next story will be. If you've enjoyed my stories, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more Ronald to come, along with some other stories that I'll put in every now and again. Bye-bye.